guys, today's recipe is chicken tetrazzini, otherwise known as chicken spaghetti. Anything with cheese is like everything, right? So we're going to show you how to make this simple recipe. So we're going to use a traditional rotisserie chicken. It was purchased at Walmart. And what you want to do is go ahead and take the skin and debone the whole chicken. You want to do this while it's hot. It's just easier that way. As you can see, the skin is coming right off. So you just get off as much as you can and place your chicken in a bowl as you go. So once you have all of the chicken deboned, you want to go ahead and take your fingers and just shred it apart. Always start with your fingers so you don't get the meat too fine. You don't want it too fine. And then after you've done that, then you can take, I like to take two forks and just go ahead and shred it the rest of the way. But like I said before, please don't shred the chicken too fine because then you'll be, barely be able to taste it once it's mixed with your pasta. Alright, and then we're also going to go ahead and boil our water and we're going to add, I like to add olive oil instead of vegetable oil and some salt. Use whatever oil that you normally use. And then I like to break the pasta in half and then go ahead and add it to my water and boil it till it's almost done. So we're going to take our onion and our bell pepper and we're going to saute that in a pan. So we're going to start off with some olive oil. You don't have to use quite as much as I did. I used a little bit too much. But you just want enough olive oil to go ahead and saute your onion and your bell pepper right before it's brown. Don't saute it until it's just too brown. And then we're going to add some cream and mushroom soup, a whole can of that. And then we're going to add about a half a can of cream and mushroom chicken. And you're going to mix after each addition. This cream and chicken wanted to be difficult and didn't want to come out of the can. So I had to help it a little bit. But all you need is a half a can. Ahead and add that and you mix again. You may also have to adjust the temperature of your pan as you cook. You don't want to cook this too fast. No higher than like medium heat. Alright and then you're going to also add some chicken broth. My chicken broth is being difficult. I did add a little bit more than that. So you just want to add some chicken broth in there and mix it together and then we're going to add our chicken. And you also may want to add some more chicken broth after you add your chicken and again after you mix everything together just kind of gauge how thick that you like um, a pasta dish and we're going to add pimento y'all pimento is the star of this dish i promise you all it is is red bell pepper and it really gives your chicken tetrazzini a kick not a hot kick just elevated all right so place your pasta in a pyrex dish and then go ahead and add all of your ingredients and we're going to mix this together. And after you have it kind of, you know, well blended how you want it, then you're going to go ahead and add your cheese. It's best with um, sharp cheese, but you can also do a sharp and a cheddar jack to kind of mix up so it's not too sharp. Just use whatever your favorite cheese is. All right, and then here we go. Plenty of cheese, y'all. Plenty of cheese. You know, we all love cheese. So just layer it, and just layer it, and layer it, and layer it, and try to make sure that all of your pasta is covered with cheese before you place your foil over it and put it in the oven. That way you keep all your moisture in your dish. All right, and then we're just gonna cover it with foil, and we're gonna bake this in the oven. So all of the cheese is melted. Here we go. All right, so nice and tight with foil. And then you take it out of the oven and look at this. Nice, cheesy goodness. I promise you'll love this. Serve this with green beans or a side salad and your dinner is ready to go. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you'll receive a notification every time we post a video. Bye!